All right, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the UFC 5 career. And to recap, in the last video, we uh, we entered into the top 15. We're now sitting at 7 and 0. And we've signed a fight with. Shoot ya, fucking me, with the, fucking the notorious Conor McGregor. Four stars, no surprise. His fighting style, you all know that. Got a five week camp. So, pretty, pretty sure it's safe to say we don't need to worry about being taken down here. It's probably going to be... Well, one of us is going to sleep. It's either going to be me or him. So, I'll have to be uh, on point with me boxing and me kickboxing in this one. So, which is why I'm going to do grappling. <laughs> to avoid getting any injuries. We'll leave one training session, uh, session in as usual. Let's go. All these strikes. And that's just eating into the clock, mate. Trying to take me down. Just... Again, mate. Just let me get you to the body. That's all the mask. It's just... Oh, yeah. That's Ground and pound entry. Train. See if we can actually get him down. Is he going to cooperate? pass keep working excellent moving on to the next a half guard for three seconds come on nice work man. just gotta hold this hey you're coming along submit really well. submit the him i have to shoot me to him just gotta fucking get him down now he won't watch this he'll deny this oh no proved me wrong right i'm gonna try nice transition Roll onto your stomach and I'll try and go for a guillotine. He's gonna get out. Oh, we actually got it. This is when we put it all together. I think Great we're gonna job. get that. So it's a little bit more points into guillotine. You have to stop him from moving. Try and get a few things leveled up or points towards level and stuff up. So now that we're in the nice, nice. in the top fifteen now, together I'll be able nice. to learn Let's keep some moves Let's off some other fighters. And keep progressing. So I'm gonna a Max Holloway visit, I think. I get some stuff learnt off him, mainly the the snap jab and the loop and cross, I think. All right, so I'll get that done. Get all my camp done as usual, and I'll see you back here when I'm done. Got some social media bullshit coming in from Woody Barrios. Barrios, Commander Woody. Uh, he says, live a shot. We want a knockout. We want a knockout. We want a knockout. I think, think Woody wants a knockout. Got a sneaking suspicion. So, ask and I shall receive, Woody. I'm going to go for the KO, and I've already predicted. I've gone just done my prediction now in the... In the hype little thing, it, I've gone for second round KO again, so hopefully we can make good on it and make Woody Barrios very pleased. All right, I'm gonna get back to the camp. Okay, just got done with the camp. Fitness is in a good place. Got the hype up to medium. Got the loop and cross learned. Got the snap jab learned, but I've equipped the loop and cross, but I've not equipped the snap jab. Only because I don't like how the right low kick comes out a lot slower when you've got the snap jab equipped. I've I've noticed. So I've, I've just kept the default jab on for now. Um, and I'll play around with the with the snap jab during the next camp, maybe. But I'm not liking it so far. I don't remember it be, behaving that way in UFC 4. Like, there's a bit of a delay when that low kick comes out. But not so much with the with the default jab. So only 62 evolution points because I spent 80 calendar points on... Well, each training session with Max cost 80 calendar points, so that was almost like a full week wasted just by learning two moves. So not as many um, evolution points, but I think we can actually put a new... Let's just show you the loop across there. So we got one star now. I've got that equipped, but... I don't know if I'll be equipping this. We'll see. I'll just keep... Because I'm fighting Connor here, I want so... I've got a three-star jab there, and I know I'm sacrificing me three-star straight. 
But we have got full punching power. So that should help us. Empty slot. And I'm probably going to put in either... Skirmisher, faster movement when moving backwards. Or Bulldog. Blocks more effectively when standard still or moving forward. I might put this on just for this fight. Just to get a bit more defensive... Uh, be a bit more defensively strong with the block. Connor's strikes are going to be um, strong. What like, like fucking four star or above strikes probably on his punches. Uh, right, I'm just going to spend forty two, and we're good to go. I can't until I get. I was going to try and dump. I'm not going to have enough for that uh, to level up the chin to do that on the next camp. Lock and maybe kick, kick power and strength. Maybe gonna nudge these up. 23 and 24. Go for power, I think. 18 left. Get a bit more in blocking, maybe. I think that's the best we can do. I'm a little bit nervous for this one. There's a high chance of getting slept in this. But uh, let's get to it. Conor McGregor. In our first ranked fight. Here we go. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight fight. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Wilson. Well, we're not getting walkouts. I thought maybe that's just on the title fights. Talk about cutbacks in this game. Bit nervous for this one. Ready fight? Ready. All right, here we go with round one. I had to tell my wife. Well, I tried to stick my glove out, but not happened. This guy has reeled off a knockout streak that rivals some of the best in UFC history. So don't forget, I've gone for the second round knockout prediction. By way of knockout, literally sending guys across the canvas, knocked out cold, and that's why he's on the radar of UFC fans around the world. Kicks the body by Connor. His opponent is certainly mindful of the power coming back his way tonight. Oh, caught me with that right hook, but I got him with a knee to the body. Oh, good for exchange in there. Fast pace here in the early going. Nice job by him there to slip that Head off. Movement there invaded both of them. Crazy numbers round one. Yeah, a few fighters manage distance as efficiently and as well as Conor McGregor. And there's the oh, cut me with a spinning back elbow. This is a bad start. Cut in the first round. Got to get him back with something significant here. Step back a little bit and bang. Drops the straight left on you that can end your night he not only throws this fast he also is so accurate and that allows him to finish so many pop that, that lead leg while he's in the south pole stance been open around that eye area he's taking shots over and over again to that area and now he's dealing with a cut oh crippling uppercut when he gets close and he throws he lands out of range with that one three minutes Counters with that inside leg kick. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, Force was going to get him to land on that uppercut there, but he pulls nice back. Nice job blocking that punch. Big kick lands. Oh, fucking hell. Fucking bullshit move. Caught me with it as well. Push. 
Not there. Oh, Colton with the knee. Tried to go for the front kick there, but it turned into a knee. Back and forth we go. That uppercut is good. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Swing and a big miss by McGregor. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Well, he's mixing it up beautifully tonight. Oh, got him with the upper cuff, but he caught me as well. Kicks the thigh and some redness now starting to develop. Redness starting to show. His opponent needs to address this now before it gets so far down the line that he's playing catch up. Oh, nice counter from McGregor with the left up, left up there. Right on the button. Another oh, with the spinning elbow again. Got to be careful with that. He is getting lit up. His face already has a big old cut on the side. Oh, and there's that patented McGregor left hand. They got to bronze that left hand and put in the Hall of Famous. I mean, you know it's coming, but because Connor does such a... Oh, got him with the uppercut again, but he's landed on me. Oh, trading. Oh, beautifully timed. Oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. Nice leg kick. Oh, back and forth we go. Oh, McGregor's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Nice left hand. Oh, he's going to go for the uppercut there, but he followed up the elbow with a, with another strike. Oh, the kick landed. Final seconds of the round. Not a bad round. We got our we got our licks in. But we also took a few. Got caught. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. Got a couple of nice low kicks in there as well. I think he only checked one or two of them. Ready, fight? Ready. Round two here. McGregor gets tagged by that stiff jab. Defense not there for him thus far tonight. Oh, oh. beautiful kick to the head. Telegraph that spinning back fist. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice job by him defensively there. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Oh, caught me again. Fucking hell. Thought he was going to counter with a straight there, but he countered with the hook. the power that he possesses so he's willing to throw it over and over again oh just keep thinking back to him in nice head movement. every time he hit him he just knocked him out of his shoes Conor McGregor's left hand is as good of a single strike as there is in the UFC yeah, he needs to register <laughs> oh well he told us in the fighter oh countered my uppercut Oh, and I almost got blasted with a fucking head kick there. Oh, hit him to the body. Oh, he's hurt bad. Oh. One of us is going out here. Telegraph that spinning back. Oh, don't want to be getting it with the left straight. All right, well, that blow is bosseting from that cut with each strike landed as he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that... Oh, beautiful uppercut. Oh, 
Oh. Back to his feet. Oh, there's the loop and cross right down the pipe. Coming in with that uppercut. Beautiful. Just felt that that was there then, the uppercut. Just as he, as he rose back up off the cage. And he busted me up there. And we got that second round knockout prediction in. It was looking sketchy for a minute. Nicely done to finish the fight. Oh, just stepped in with the uppercut there. He changed levels into it as well. I think that's the most we've been hit. I don't think I've actually been rocked yet in a fight, but I think that was the first time it's happened so far, I think. It's kind of to be expected going against Connor. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest. Shoot your fucking mouth. 59 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Wilson. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after. One step closer to go. Another win. And another knockout victory, so that's uh, two more ticks in the in the goat sections there, and the requirements kept the streak going and got another KO. Did we get any bonuses? Contract cash, contract win cash, fight of the night bonus, not bad. Before and a performance of the night. So a few more little, a uh, few more ticks added to the goat status there. Coach Davis, what a finish, Baz. The fans are going crazy for that final blow. Always let my fans do the talking. Oh, 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 always let my fists do the talking, excuse me. ESPN. What's happening now? Woody. Did they wake did they wake that kid up yet? Well at least he's happy anyway, he got what he wanted. Best fight I've seen in a long time, says Dana. Liver shot got those hands, says Vincent York. Good fight, please, with that result. Moicano. Money Moicano. Four stars. Says Jiu Jitsu, but um, he's pretty well rounded, Moicano. I'd say he's more of an MMA style. Likes to throw hands, he's box grappler. Should we go for Moicano? I know we're jumping over. That's a shame. See, I've turned down for Zeev and we in the last one, but I still actually want to go against him. So Moicano at 10. So what if I turn down Moicano and maybe it'll give me either Petters or Fazeev. I kind of, I'd rather have Fazeev out of these three. I'll do one decline. Well, actually, it depends who they give me. I was going to say I'll do one decline, but I might have to do two, depending on who we get. So I'll decline Moicano and hopefully we'll get Fazeev. We've got two declines. This is gonna fucking send John Annex fucking hair through what little hair he's got through the roof. Bobby Green, ooh, 14. Bobby Green's a good fight, like, isn't it? I mean, I did say I wanted to work them, go up them one by one in the list. I mean, I was kind of open for Fazeev there, but. I think Bobby Green will be. I, I, there's no, there's no rush to get to the top, is there? I'm gonna, oh, actually, I don't know. Should I skip Bobby Green? Don't know what to do now. Now do you know what? I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. Five week camp only makes sense. Started at 15, and I want to work my way up as much as I can. Got some obligatory, uh, mandatory hype to do. Fucking cutting into the training session. Local news at six. I'll do that because it takes up 50. And then we'll do a training session. And then I'll fast forward the rest of it. Anything we can benefit from here? No. I was hoping front kicks would get a bonus there, but no joy, unfortunately. We'll do go, go grappling again. BJJ is the gentle art. Because throw any strikes, at least I can sort of put points into the into the straight here again. Oh, he's gonna get me down. Let's roll. You 
next opponent is not going to be down the move to full guard. Is he going to even let me get this? You know, he's going to throw right straight and liver shots at me. Ray, control. Reclaim your guard, please, sir, if you don't mind. Don't mind me, I'll just punch your liver for a little bit. There we go. Listen. You fight like Hold that for three seconds. Guaranteed. Force a tap out. Let's see, we can just go for the end. Word. Maintain control. Straight for the armbar. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully didn't deny like it. That, good. You're gonna Easy enough. He cooperated Guaranteed. reasonably well. See if we can get the triangle. Put some points Come into on, the triangle choke while we're in mount. Moving. Always denied that we're not so lucky this time. Oh, I'm pretty sure I got an early deny yep. on that. Yep, good work. Keep moving. He's denied it again. Got that one. I just have enough time. Only gonna get one attempt at this. Oh, he decided to be a fucking asshole. Can I get a denial in? Which way is he going, right or left? He's going right. Got him. Oh, we just got it in. Good work. Maintain control. Saw some nice submission skills today. Really like what I saw. Not a bad session. All right, so I'll just jump to the end of the camp, and as usual, I'll just pop in if there's anything interesting happening. So I'll see you in a bit. Got a weird request here coming in from Orlando Delvey. Orlando Bomb Delvey. I can't get enough of fighters getting tripped in a match. I think Livershot will be able to pull one off in this fight. I'm guessing he means, like, clinch trips and stuff like that. What a bizarre fucking thing to get sort of, like... To get fucking uh, thirsty by, you know what I mean? Oh, I, fucking, I love it when someone trips someone in a clinch. Um, I guess so. I'll, uh, I'll see if I can get at least one in. It's probably not going to happen, though. What a strange request. Okay, that's the camp done. Sitting at very high hype for the first time in the career. Peak fitness, good stuff. Everything in the green, just the way I like it. Uh, we did, we learned the lead switch kick to the body off the King of Cringe. Henry Cejudo was kind enough to teach us a new technique. <coughs> Excuse me. Got a bit... Uh, into a bit of a hairy situation sparring against O'Malley. Fucking gave me a cut. We had to fucking repair that shit. Fucking Sean O'Malley throwing head kicks in the middle of the sparring session. But, uh, so not as many evolution points again because I had a couple of training sessions with with another fighter. Let's get this, this close to three. And then everything's good to go then. Next time round, we can bump cardio and chin up. And then I don't have to worry about it anymore. Thinking kick power. Get that up to nearly full stars. Might as well hang on to that five points. All right. King Bobby Green. Let's go. This should be another entertaining fight. Should be a stand-up affair, I'm guessing. Let's get to it. Tough to get that performance bonus now. These two, they put on a show. Yeah, was that crazy? They only had three rounds though. You're the main event. You got five rounds to put on a show. Guess we ended early. I'm ready for whatever. Prepare for the worst. Expect the best, right? Damn right. All right, then let's go. Let's do this. Let's get it. Yeah. Well, I wasn't expecting a cutscene there, but I guess you get one for when you you have your first five rounder. Didn't actually pay attention to the rounds there, but hopefully our cardio should hold up. But according to our prediction, we're not planning on going the five. We want to get this done in two. We'll see what happens. Bobby Green's no joke. 
even though his, his character model is in this game, it's not been updated. That's a UFC 4 Bobby Green, if I ever saw one. But the wins have started to pile up, and now he's going to take his shots at one of the division's elite. More eyeballs. Obviously, the crowd is full. Oh, trying the, the head kick early. Card has started. We'll see if he can get off to a good start tonight. And Bobby's in the southpaw stance, so I'm going to be peppering that lead leg again. Just misses with the jab there. All right, so a nice sequence right out of the shoot by the kickboxer, continuing to attack that. Oh, lead. Bobby going for the takedown. I wasn't expecting that at all. Maybe as worried about the as he Switches to orthodox. Oh, nice straight down the middle from Bobby. This boxer is going to have to make some adjustments so that he is not eating leg kick after leg kick as the fight goes on. Push kick there to the body. Now I've got to be careful with this lead. Oh, nice left up bit. This switch kick to the body. It's got a bit of a wind up that the AI tends to punish. So I'll have to pick and choose when I'm, when's the best time to use it. Bobby might get this. Couple of nice elbows landed there. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five so give me that lead leg. No feeling out process at all. The moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Nice body shot. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's leading the dance. Very fast jab lands for him. Just over three minutes now to go. Relax, relax. Keep your head. Green gets caught with that punch. Right, so oh, I thought I had that covered. I thought I had the pre-deny going on there. Oh, got a reversal on him. Oh, he denied me get me um me posture up there. Well, maybe ill advised to be competing off. And I thought I had that denied, but it's all right, Bobby. I want you up anyway. And he's back up. Beautiful left hand counter. He's got to throw that kick behind those punches. I mean, you land one, I land one. What a start. Quick jab lands there. Oh, left hook. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Can't take any of those. You better check. Good straight hand there by Green. Past the two minute mark in round one. He is. Oh, going after thought he was going to get blasted. Right. He just got his guard up. Establish that jab once again. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class. Hands up. Jim Another nice elbow. So that opened up a cut around his eye. Cut him. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Nice punch man over the top. Should be ducking underneath just them, but it's just, the just recognizing when they're coming. No, he's hurt. He's oh, nice forward. uppercut landed. Just kick to the liver. Oh. Careful, like chasing him. I'm getting aggressive. Thirty seconds now to go in the opening round. Pretty interesting to see him mixing it up with the kicks here, some calf kicks, and now attacking the thigh effect. Just throwing the traditional leg kick. The traditional leg kick was a little higher. Everybody wants to talk about that calf kick right now. There's still a lot to be done with those traditional leg kicks. Final seconds. Thank you. 
Oh, what a little left streak down the middle on the buzzer. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there. A couple of good shots got through there. Cut him a couple of times. So now we've got to go for the kill in this round. We go, and it's starting to look like a second. Oh, nice elbow up against the cage. Yeah, it looks terrible. I mean, the guy is getting hit with big shots. One big enough to open up a nasty cut on his cheek. While it's in a better spot, it still is very difficult to deal with. Like if he absorbs another strike on that cheek, he might actually be able to eat through that cut Ready on his cheek. I'm just Ready. saying. He's got a big mouth. <laughs> All right, round two. Oh, heavy kick downstairs. Oh, he lands another left for the head the kick, but it turned really into a to on a kick to the body because he closed the distance. Oh, he's catching me with these fucking spin to win moves. Straight punch is good. So there it is again. The boxer goes for the takedown. Once again, unsuccessful. I mean, I don't understand the thought process. I mean, his best skills are in the stand-up. It's with the hands. You have to use those if you want to win fights. Lands a big elbow there. And he blocks the shot there. Back and forth we go. Turning into a bit of a scrap. It's getting a bit scrappy. Oh, misses with the jet. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. Mm -hmm. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands. Every punch lands. He has just outclassed this guy on the feet. You have got to find a way to change the way that this fight is playing out, or your night's going to end very early. Green's bleeding. Trying to get him with that off the cuff as he steps in like that. There's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. Oh, a huge block there. Spinning back fist is there. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Back to the jab now, no good. Under three minutes here to go in the round. Nice one, two there. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found oh. his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's going to have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now. Oh, nice right up a cut left up. Oh, desperation shot from Bobby. Managed to stuff it. Big left hand there. Oh, nice body shot. Well, the oh, counted me off the uppercut. It's been a crazy fight. Oh, timed it with the straight on the way in. Stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. The opponent discovered. Now he's got to deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got. Oh, beautiful counter! Right up, a cut left up on the way in. Oh, he gets up here, but he is on wobbly legs. Leading now, nasty cut on his nose. Huge knee lands to clinch. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish it. it. seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. Bobby looking a bit tired. But he seems to be having fun. And, hey, oh, kick to the liver. I guess I'd be rushing out of that option. Yeah, you don't play with him. No. So right straight, straight to the body. Gonna go, oh, he's going to go upstairs with it. Left hook, but he fires to it. Minute left to fulfill the contract. The cut. prediction. You want to punch a minute. You want to elbow a minute. Anytime you see your work paying off, you go down the path. Look how excited you just got. To oh, punch to the back of the head. Want to go left hook? Oh. Oh. 
Oh, nice head movement there. Oh, he might get this. Fucking hell, he saved himself. Gonna have enough time. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other side. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be Just wasting stamina now, trying to get up. In this fight, but we didn't expect to see this type of war between this these two. Let's stay here. Let the round tick out. Oh, First time we've gone to the third round, I think, isn't it? Back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. I have been cut myself, so I have to be very, very careful here. Got a little bit sloppy there towards the end, getting tagged with so we're both tagging each other. Broken nose, you certainly don't want to blow the nose. That will result in the eyes swelling. Where he caught me, I think. Oh, the massive left up there against the cage. Caught me coming up against the cage here. The done in that oh, that left hook. Really yeah, really opened up that cut, John. The blows are just one of my favorite punches. The left hook. Get out of the way more. I mean, if this guy won't do it himself, somebody's got to help him. Yeah. Because you cannot keep taking these types of shots. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, nice right straight to the body there. Beautiful job getting those hands up. All right, so another nice strike by him there, and he continues to attack that cut. Pretty sage decision by him to target that area. We always talk about his fight IQ, John. We talk about his ability to recognize his advantages. That's exactly what he's doing. The moment he saw that cut, I knew that would become oh, his Oh, nice right straight down the middle from Bobby. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, and a massive left up there as he span. Caught him on the spin. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand. Oh, knee to the body. Sack that lead leg. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh! Desperation shot, he might get it. Right uppercut, left up, coming out of the clinch. Oh, hard kick to the liver. Oh, spinning back fist connected for Bobby. Right straight to the body. They both fought very hard. But after round one, you saw one guy's cardio say, Good night, guys. And in the second round, you saw the other guy. Good night, guys. Now they're left with no cardio. And it's going to be Oh, another hard kick to the liver. Right straight to the body. That's going to be who went to fight. Green's nose is just donating blood by the second here. I'm not so sure that nose isn't broken, DC. Oh, punishing that body. Oh, beautiful liver shot there. He's hurt. He's wobbling. Wow. Oh. Oh. Oh, and a beautiful left hook to the liver. Oh, I'm very pleased with that one. I think he could have gone to the head as well there. His head was weak. His body was weak. We'd hurt his leg. You know, a good, a lo I love a good liver shot, and it's been a while since we got one. I think it was back in the, uh, the tutorial fights we got a liver shot. Oh, he circled into it as well. Just get get his hands up with the jab. Fire that left hook to the body underneath the elbow. Beautiful. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called Took a bit of damage in these last two fights as well. It's not good for the longevity. Declaring the winner by TKO Wilson. All right, so a nice win for this fighter here tonight. His coaches have always said when the stakes get higher, his performances will get better. And that's exactly the way it played out here tonight. It was his first main card fight. So far, so good as he gets the job done here. In in one million. Fight. That's good. I think that goes towards GOAT stuff, uh, GOAT status, it, like your earnings and stuff. And all that type of stuff. Uh, the camp was good and uh, and it's done. I've been training hard. I've, uh, I've put the work in. I've backed myself. And it's done. It's time to get that work. Might have a look at GOAT status in a minute, just see how we're doing. Level up. Is 
have a look at Goat Street as well, we're here. Eight knockouts. Not long to go on them. Got two more Fight of the Night bonuses and we can scratch that off. Climbing up there in consecutive wins. Performance bonuses getting up there. Halfway. Finishes. Still a way, ways to go. God, we've got to get 100 million career earnings. I guess once you're the champion, you're getting fucking way more bank. So we're a long way off doing any, any of that. Yes, we've got social media shit. What's going on here? Lucky TKO, it won't last. Elaine Perlin. Elaine, fucking hell, that's a, a manly name you've got there, Elaine. What? Were you, that fucking Alan was too normal for you, so you went with Elaine. Alexander Hernandez, I've always wanted to fight the best in Yuri. Can we get an octo can we get in the octagon and do this? Well that depends, Alex. What the rankings are looking like, mate. Where is he? Got a feeling you're unranked. Oh, sorry, Alex. I can't be Can't be accepting that fight. Although John Annex gonna love me turning it down. So even though we took Bobby Green, we've kind of still flew past Vazeev and I'll see who the offer is and more social media. What's going on? Oh, I'll turn him down. Uh, I appreciate the offer, but it's not going to happen. <laughs> Fucking Anik. Where's Anik going to be coming in any minute? Is the truth to these rumours that you ducked Alexander Hernandez liver shot? Is it true? I can't do a fucking John Anik. Sean Strickland. He's the best at 175. Sean. Oh, that's well to wait on 185. Sean Strickland. Okay, fight off it. MMA Guru does a really good John Anik. Michael Chandler, number six. Fucking hell. Fucking Chandler looking like a Greek god. Look at him. Fucking shredded. Do you know what? I think the the hope of fighting them all one by one, it's just going to take forever, isn't it? I mean, it's offered me the number six. Who are we skipping past here? So I'm, what am I, 10? So we're skipping past RDA, Felder, Moicano. You know what? There's no need to rush this. I'm going to I'm gonna decline Chandler and hope we get someone a little bit lower. There's no need to fly to the top in the career so quickly, but at the same time... I, in fact, I'll do one... De no, I want, I want Chandler, what am I doing? He's an exciting fighter, this should be an exciting fight. This might come back to bite me in the ass. Maybe I need to work my way up, but it's too late now. I've pressed the button. Carnero, what's Moicano saying? You got some hands, liver shots. I'm ready to throw down. Why didn't you say something, mate, before... We could have done something. No, I don't want evolution. What am I doing? Social media. Go to that. Improve fighter relationship or taunt him. Uh, thanks, we would definitely put on a hell of a slaughter, a, sl a slaughter, a slugfest for the fans. Freudian slip there. I know Moicano doesn't even believe the garbage coming out of his mouth anytime, any place I'll fight it. We'll wind up money, Moicano. Wind him up, see what he has to say. Let's get this fucking bullshit hype out the way, because you have to do it, otherwise you get fucking fined. Local news at six. So I've got two of them, fucking hell's got to fucking eat into me training. How many weeks in the camp? Better be five. Okay, that's good. All right, we'll get a sparring session in. I can do, and I can do the other one next week. Uh, jabs 27, front kicks. I'm going to take this because I want that front kick to the body le uh, leveling up, and it All should right. do it in this session, providing I don't get... I want to see good well, actually, I'm, I'm willing to take an injury. Throw any strikes against the kickboxer. Man combinations. No oh, throwing overhands. Nice I'm gonna get fucking injured here. Now feel. that's the aggression I want to see in your next fight. Great job. Yes, I like what I saw. Man combinations. That was some beautiful work. Three strike combinations. I guess that's going to be the nice easiest. Defense. Hey, good job today. 
There we go. Now we can go for the front kick. Oh, look at this fucking AI bullshit. Come on, let me get that front kick level up. Please. Don't be a dickhead. I'm willing to take an injury to get it. Oh, I fucking spoke too soon. Fucking cunt. See, this is why I do grappling. These lads are harder than the fucking fights. Fucking cons, come on then, let's fucking go. After all that, fucking didn't even get it. Fucking prick. Fucking got an injury as well. Nice, nice. That was some good kickboxing. Just remember, always set up your kicks with your punches. What a waste. I think I can do it again. <clears throat> fucking knock him out as well, get a bit of fucking payback. Suffered an injury, fucking... Blah, blah, blah. Where's the fucking... The fucking magical ice pack. In fact, it's not going to cut it, is it? Medical grade glue, 25 grand, fucking hell. 25 grand for glue. I can buy a fucking bottle of fucking glue at my local stationery store for about a pound. Fucking 25 grand, fucking hell. Get any... Bullshit hype in for 10. There we go. Okie doke. What's going on now? Matt Devayas. It's clear no one wants to see us beat up Carnero despite all of his trash talking. I'll look for a better matchup. Uh, you're right, thought the fans would be more into it, but no, I'll take the fight. It'll be a good fight. Fucking never hear the end of it if I fucking decide to duck it. Or decline it. A slam separates the haves from the have nots. Um, no, I don't want to fucking go for slams. What are you talking about? Alright, I'm going to get back on with this camp. Oh, what the fucking hell is going on now? Let's see if Liver Shock can channel this inner clinch game tonight. Stop asking me to do stuff. Whatever, I'll take it. I'll probably get clinched and hopefully that fucking counts towards it. Right, I'm going to get, get stuck into the camp and I'll see you in a bit. Alright, that's the camp done. And some bullshit was going on in one of the sessions where the fitness bar wasn't going up. And it was stuck at the first sort of... The first quarter of Amber. Like, it wasn't even going up into the second. I was like, what the fuck's going on? Like, restarted the game, thought it was a... But then the next few sessions, it started going up, so that's pissed me off. Normally, I'm at peak fitness, but thanks to the fucking modern-day modern, modern day scam artists that are EA and video game central scammers, I'm not pulling into the fight at peak fitness, so I'm going to get a fucking penalty as soon as the fight starts. But let's try and mitigate that a little bit. We did get a fucking bullshit injury as well, so let's try and spend some points. Cardio's up full now. Get that chin strength bumped up, so try and mitigate that penalty that we're going to get when when the fight starts. We did level up the, the front kick to the body, so it's got that nice snappy, sort of almost like a teep kick like effect to it now. Yeah, we can't afford that. Blocking, head movement, take down defence. Accuracy is always a good one. Got 14 to go. Can I do anything over here? With 14 points. I can. Leg strength. Can I do anything here? Might just hang on to it, I think. Yeah, I'll just keep hold of it. So I've gone for a third round knockout prediction against Chandler. I'm expecting I'm going to end up on my back at some point. I think it's probably going to have him as boxer or wrestler, I think. Yeah, wrestler, so. Although I'm going to be very wary of his stand-up because he does have, like, dynamite and his punches, Mike. But I think it's going to be a lot of takedowns, so. And if he does get me down, I don't think I'm going to have the, the ground game to be able to get him off me. So, third round knockout is what I'm going for. It's a three-round fight. So, let's get to it. Here we go. Michael Chandler. Eddie, 
And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC the lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Wilson. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Iron Michael Chandler. You ready to fight? Ready. So if he does end up going for like a... Oh, he caught me with a head kick immediately. There's that low fitness penalty kicking in. Cardio's down half a star. There's that nice front kick to the body. So if he does end up sort of leaning into... Oh, nice left up there. He fucking sidestepped into that. If he does end up leaning into his wrestling... He might go against him if we can defend most of it. Oh, look at these hands. Fucking hell. Fucking hell, he's going and fuck the wrestling, he's going for boxing. Connected with a solid punch right there. He's showing me the takedown now. Just turn his hip over into the leg kick. Try and time him coming in as he's getting aggressive. These big punches. Oh, nice right straight left up lands. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, Both landing big shots early. Oh, went for the uppercut, but he just beat me to that. a lot about mixing it up this week, but that right hand is his weapon of choice, and he found the button early. It is his weapon of choice, and I think a lot of his success is based on the fact that he's such a nice front kick now. So when that level changes, people tend to drop their hands, and Chandler drops that big right hand on him. I think this is one of the best athletes in the entire UFC. Tries to mix in a takedown here. Show him that uppercut if he's thinking of shooting in. Just over three minutes to go round one. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Straight right hand counter, useful. And everything's landing with so much power. Lands a nice leg kick. Oh, beautiful little lead uppercut. That leg kick hurt. Oh, the upper, the rear uppercut this time. Right hand over the top. I thought he was going to slam me there. Got to start trying learning to. When I see the overhand coming at me, at least try and get get used to firing off a block counter. Oh, spinning back fist lands. Oh, lead head kick. What the hell? Thought he'd finished this combination there. Oh, big overhand. God, they taking some big shots here. Thunder two minutes now to go round one. Oh, that jab alerted his opponent. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Wild attempt with the right hand there. All right, mixing up the leg kicks nicely, and that thigh starting to show some visible signs of bruising now. You know, you can't Ooh, nice kick to the liver. What that high leg kick does now. Oh, that loop and cross landed there. Did some damage. As we go forward in this fight. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot. A kick to the liver lands. Oh, cuts me. Fuck. And he landed a shot on the way in. You gotta move your head. You cannot be on a straight line. Otherwise, you will take shots. And that shot oh, thought he's going for a submission there. Leads to your face starting to swell. Let's wait for him to see what he does. Reclaim that guard. No, it ain't happening. Oh, vicious elbow from Chandler. Round and pound the hammer Mark Coleman would be proud. 
Let's try and get up. He might deny this. Yeah. Faking me a bit on that. He looks like a Michelin star chef trying to slice and dice in the kitchen the way he's tearing his opponent up. Big ground and pound. See if the referee can stand us up. Oh, hammer fist here by Michael Chen. Come on, ref, this fuck all happening. Oh, we oh, can do it ourselves. As they get back to their feet after a pretty scintillating grappling battle there on the ground. Well, it's an educated crowd, John. Huh? They appreciated all the grappling exchanges and how how skilled both of these men are. Chandler's nose is bleeding. Oh, and a little stepping jab there. Nothing ideal about it here in the middle of right the on the round. nose. I think I busted me nose, I think. At the end of the round, big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. So we both Should landed on each other, but he got a takedown. Oh, beautiful right straight down the middle. That loop and cross. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is... When you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth. But the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? I don't know if my nose is broken or not. I think it possibly might be. Oh, walks onto an uppercut. Beautiful right straight to follow up. Don't want to follow him into the guard. This wrestling is too risky. from that cut with each strike landed and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing... Oh, we might get this. Oh, didn't expect him to follow up there. Doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Oh, I don't want to play around on the ground with him. On another cut, fucking hell. Oh, stung him with that jab on the way in. I mean, you land one, I land one. What a start. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to wear his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. Oh, I was thinking about a, Take down a block well counter there, but oh, massive overhand there! You know oh, beautiful right straight left up, back away, let him up, live a kick. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Knee to the body. Oh. All right, so a wise decision by him to continue to attack that cut, and it's getting wider by the minute. It's getting wider by the minute. This guy is, is, a, is a fantastic fighter. He's the smartest they come. So the moment that cut opened up, you knew that that would become his focus, and we are seeing it very clear right now. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative. And oh, beautiful. Oh, my God. Nice, nice body shots there. Well, no waiting for him to lunge in. On the other side, but at this point, you just got to find that kill shot and get him out of it. A lot of times that comes with reps, that comes with taking your time. You get excited and you want to finish him because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. Oh, going for the kill. Oh, for some go for the combination there. He blocked it. Oh, a bit of fatigue setting in. You know what that means. That is so talented. That is so disciplined. That when he can see swelling like that, he's going to continue to attack. Work that body. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, beautiful left uppercut on the break. And back to his feet. Bullshit the way I can counter you like that off that. Chandler tries to throw that left hook. 
Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other side. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this would be a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be struggle and look at him. Oh, beautiful. Gonna go again. Oh, just beat me to it there, went for the liver kick. Oh, <laughs> fuck me. I went for the front kick, I went for the jab front kick to the body. But he shot in after the jab, and it turned into a knee. Oh, fucking Jesus. I hate to see Mike go out like that. Oh, we just Tony Ferguson him a little bit. I went for the front kick, but you can see it turned into that knee. Oh, fucking hell. It's always nice when you get a knee knockout off the takedown shot. How quickly he shot in there. The official decision it resides. The game just turned it into the knee. I'll take it though. Fucking hell, what a brutal knockout. At four minutes, eleven seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO. Wilson. What round was that? I lost. I totally lost track of the round there. Like, oh, what a win for that young man tonight by TKO. And the judges. I think it was the second the round, was it? Okay, we don't need the scorecards. We don't need your scorecards. Do as you may. I'll take it though. Proceed as you may, because <laughs> this guy knew that he had to finish this fight. That's exactly what he did. He I mean, I wouldn't call that a TKO. That's a fucking yeah, knockout if I ever saw one. Fucking hell. I think it's because it's. I it threw a body strike, and the games registered the strike to the body. Like as the front kick, but it's turned into a knee, so it might have thought it's like a knee to the body, but it caught him in the head. Anyway, second round, so we didn't we didn't get the prediction, but I mean I'll take that fucking knockout, fucking hell. Beat the number six. We're starting off a bit sketchy there. Cut me. I'm getting cut quite easily. I'm, I'm noticing now. These last couple of fights. Here's Anik, liver shot we heard from Alexander Hernandez, she never accepted the fight. Look, what did I tell you? Anik, they, look, he's the first one to fucking jump down my throat. Can I tell Anik to fuck off? We heard from Alexander Hernandez, you never accepted the fight offer with them, hoping to hear your side of the story. Timer wasn't right, simple as that, I'll see them one day. I'm an elite fighter, I know you fight elite fighters. They're not even within spitting distance of a fight with me now. Well, that's true, he's fucking... That's true. You happy with that, John? <laughs> Is that, you happy with the shit staring? You got the response that you wanted. Dana White Livershot has been asking for a title fight for a long time and he proved. I missed that then. Went by way too quick. This is a contender these days. Someone talking shit. Livershot, not impressive. Toby Fouracre. Fucking hell. Toby Foreskin. Fucking bell end. <laughs> Alright, let's get another fight signed and then we'll call it a video. Get me away from these fucking drone mouth breathers. Moicano, money Moicano. We've been talking shit at each other. Let's get it signed. Hernandez gets fucking... Gets put on the back burner, but not Moicano. He gets what he wants. Gonna defend me, um, me ranking. If, speaking of rankings, what am I? Number six. I've got to defend me number six ranking. Here he is. I backed liver shot into a corner and now he can't get out. We'll see about that. Get ready, I'm looking forward to a great fight. There are levels to this game, Moicano, and you'll find out the hard way real soon. Fucking right. Let's fucking let's stay the pot, get some hype going. Alright, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.